You gonna do a happy dance for me? Can I see a happy dance? Alright everybody, this is going to be a very short video, but I did feed the spider. I'm going to see if he'll eat. Nope, there he goes. There's the happy dance. Happy, happy, happy dance. <laughs> Such a happy dance. Such a happy, happy spider. Does the happy dance, happy dance he does. He does the very lovely he happy dance. He does the lovely happy dance, yes, Sally. He does the happy, 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 happy dance. No, he has three crickets and does the happy dance. And if you're not too familiar with his enclosure, this is his enclosure. Two live plants, nice water bowl, a little hide, and he does like to dig. I am going to stop this really quickly. I actually have to do this, actually. He knows I don't like him digging. So what I do, man, look at all that spider webbing. I don't want to piss him off any more than he usually is. If it's a live little plant like this, I will actually I will personally uproot them. So they don't do this. And I will take the dead little plants that I rip out and set them there. But let's see if the stripe weed is good. He is happy. Yeah, he's a very happy boy. To see him, let him know he's uh, safe. A striped knee is moderately dangerous, but if it bites you, you will be put in the hospital. That's why I'm slowly rubbing its body. camera is moving like that. There you go, buddy. He is literally, he's pretty big. He's a decent sized spider. He has a bunch of good webbing, though. If I knew he would stay in the enclosure, I would keep the enclosure doors open to let these plants grow but as you can tell he can climb and he's a good climber i tell you what but he's a good sp he's a good spider very very tempted very sweet i've never seen a what's it called a more lovelier spider like he is of course, my parents don't know about him, which they will never know about him until I move. He's going to go right back where he belongs. 
And of course, we are gonna pull out our scorpion and check on her. Because uh, I haven't seen my scorpion in a while, and I want to see how she's doing. Now, I do want to get her into a live plant situation as well. Quit. Put that down. Quit. I don't know what's been getting into you lately, but you need to quit. And this is what I've been dealing with ever since I got her. When she knows I will not hurt hurt her. I don't know what's been getting into you, Missy. But I think it's time for you to stop. We're gonna come over here. We're gonna grab this. Whatever you do, don't try this at home. And we are gonna watch the law we are gonna watch the effects of the venom from this cricket.
And as you can tell, its whole entire nervous system is dying. Because this big girl packs a punch. Especially with this big thing. Surprised how big she actually is now. Come on. Okay, so now we gotta do a procedure on getting that scorpion in here. Because she needs to be transferred into this little container. Now, there she is. She's not that big, but she can still pack a punch. Now, the soil that she is in will actually not hurt her, but it will actually help her. So I can rearrange her whole entire enclosure. This is actually a perfect enclosure little enclosure for her I go right now I'm gonna put her down there I really do want to put plants in this but I can't not the right area for it take the venomous creature pull it out no threat. No threat makes it easier to re remodel their cage. You're not supposed to, but you can. Once in a while, I have to remodel her cage because she moves everything. Like these plants right here are over here. I put them over here, but she moved them over there. I give it another give it another month before she decides to come out again and move every little plant again I give it a month and these guys will go over here this plant will go like that this will go here that will go like that I'll brush off this so now we got green 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 good now, for her, 
I'm going to have to set you guys down, like, on the bed, but you guys will still be able to see, well, not see here, you'll be able to hear what's going on and crap. Grab your stinger. Give me your stinger, little bitch. Thank you. Go. Come on. And yes, they do hiss. It is very common for a scorpion to hiss if they're threatened. This is also my first scorpion, so she is my little test subgy. Subject. Me and her really don't get along. She's a bitch. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. She's a bitch. There's lights to her enclosure. Her, her lights are rechargeable batteries. Well... They're actually rechargeable solars, so it, it doesn't take much to light her enclosure. Enough where she can feel comfortable. He is a happy spider. She's a happy scorpion now. Well, somewhat pissed. Happy frog. <sighs> Bob, when I eat a little... My geckos are getting bigger. What else eats crickets that I know? Well, if nothing's there, I'm going to put this back on top. Let those crickets do their thingy. So that's their enclosure. Fluffies. Oh, uh, water needs to be filled. Where's the... I need this. So does Raven's water needs to be filled as well. Because I need it. Fluffy. Fluffy, my dude. Come out. Say hi. Come on. Yeah, Fluffy's gotten a lot bigger. You guys haven't seen Fluffy in a while. Yeah, Fluffy's gotten a lot bigger. He needs water, though, and he knows it.